all right guys today we are going to solve 100 mcqs which are going to help you out in all type of your exams whether it is your board exam or uh, it is uh, a competitive exam for higher studies or it is uh, some job examination uh, for which you need to prepare yourself for english so uh, most of the mcqs that we are going to solve are grammar based but you will also be uh, improving a lot of your vocabulary and you will be also uh, learning about a lot of technical aspects of english language so are you ready shall we start okay so question number one is that he writes dash ink he writes with ink he writes in ink he writes for ink or he writes on ink the correct option is that he writes in ink okay idiom a slap on the wrist means hard punishment beating someone warning or small punishment or make someone sad the correct option is warning or small punishment a slap on the wrist means warning or a small punishment next question is to cut long story short means uh, tell the sh sh uh, story briefly come to the point miss the main point or none of the above the correct option is come to the uh, main point come to the point okay next question is that which one of the following is antonym of uh, apocryphal uh, while others are synonyms now out of the four options uh, three are the synonyms and one option is basically the the antonym and we have to find out the antonym so uh, genuine uh, mythical obscure or unsubstantiated uh, so now we can understand that uh, mythical obscure and uh, unsubstantial uh, unsubstantiated uh, uh, so these three are uh, similar in meaning so this means that this one is the antonym okay genuine got it so this is how you have to solve the mcqs this is you, you ha uh, this is how you have to understand uh, the questions while you are sitting in the examination which one of the following is antonym of prosaic while others are synonyms so out of these four options uh, three are the synonyms and one is the antonym which you have to find out pedestrian prosy tedious or interesting so the correct option is uh, interesting so uh, this means that the uh, prosaic means something which is uh, which is tedious which is prosy which uh, you know and the, the third one is uh, you know the option d is basically the correct option this shows the antonym of the given word all right so next uh, question number six is that uh, which one of the following word is antonym of uh, raucous raucous this might be a new word for you while others are synonyms so out of the four options which are given to you uh, one is uh, antonym and the rest of the uh, three options are basically the synonyms horse subdued uh, strident or discordant so now strident discordant coarse these three words basically show uh, you know something which is magnanimous uh, you know a, a lot of, a lot of noise and subdued is basically the word which shows the the, the the opposite meaning so this is going to be the correct option all right so next uh, question number seven is that which one of the following is an antonym of uh, uh, picaun picaun so this might be again a new word for you while others are the synonyms piddling trifling colossal or uh, trivial so the correct option is uh, colossal right okay next question is that which one of the following is antonym of flaunt okay so there are uh, four options uh, three are the synonyms and uh, you know one is uh, ant uh, antonym and you have to find out the antonym cover brandish display or exhibit now display exhibit brandish you know these three are similar in meaning and cover or hide this is basically the antonym for the word flaunt all right so next question is that which one of the following is antonym of welter welter while others are the synonyms so there are basically uh, uh, th uh, four options all right clutter uh, fuddle jumble or order jumble fuddle clutter so these three are similar in meaning order is basically the uh, you know the the opposite or the antonym of the word welter next question is that which one of the following is antonym of eclat okay eminence esteem uh, plaudit or dullness now em eminence uh, esteem uh, plaudit so these three are similar in, me in meaning and dullness is basically a word which is uh, opposite of the word eclat so you know you are you are you are learning a lot of vocabulary as well okay which one of the following is uh, an antonym of uh, uh, minuscule while others are the synonyms Diminu uh, uh, diminutive uh, lilliputian miniature or maj uh, majuscule minuscule uh, you know it's basically from muscle uh, uh, mini uh, you know minuscule means something which is small and majuscule is from the word majesty so this means that majuscule is the opposite of the word minuscule next question is that which one of the following is antonym of improvised okay Impro uh, you know impoverished impoverished is the word uh, and the options are broke destitute uh, you know 
uh, impecanuous impact, or wealthy so destitute impecanuous or broke uh, these are similar in meaning and wealthy is basically an opposite uh, for the given word okay next question is that which one of the following is antonym of uh, flamox while others are the synonyms baffle confound perplex or enlighten baffle confound or perplex these are similar in meaning and enlighten is basically the correct option for this word next question is that which one of the following is antonym of epitom while others are synonyms epitom you know uh, abridgment abstract compendium or antithesis basically antithesis is the correct option for that uh, abridgment abstract and compendium these are similar in, in meaning and the first one is is opposite to them next question is that which one of the following is antonym of perdition while others are the synonyms perdition means doom hell infernal so these three words are similar in meaning and heaven is basically opposite to the word uh, perdition uh, you know i i just uh, you know i, I uh, the movie the road to perdition just came to my mind uh, when i was reading this word okay which one of the following is antonym of mordant while others are the synonyms acerbic caustic corrosive or pliant so these three are similar in meaning and pliant is basically the correct option for this word all right so moving for the next question please wait for me i will be finished dash 5 or 10 minutes i will be finished at 5 or 10 minutes in 5 or 10 minutes by or from the correct option is that i will be finished in so this question is basically based from the prepositions uh, the railway track runs dash the river over the river across the river by the river all right or uh, let's see what is the next on the river so the correct option is that the the, the railway track runs across the river the railway track runs across the river next question is that which one of the following is antonym of uh, perpetrator Uh, while others are the synonyms culprit felon or miscreant uh, uh, so culprit felon uh, you know uh, miscreant so these three are similar in meaning and police is basically a word which is opposite to the uh, perpetrator next one is that uh, you have to find out the antonym of uh, gregarious and gregarious uh, you know means talkative cheerful or uh, uh, boring the, but the correct option is uh, lonesome gregarious means a person who is uh, having a lot of company and lonesome means a person who is always alone now on antonym of onerous onerous uh, means difficult uh, burdensome or uh, fluent so so fluent is basically out of the context uh, you know this cannot be either a synonym or uh, antonym light is basically light means uh, something which is not difficult so onerous means something very big something very difficult and light is an opposite or an antonym for the word onerous next question is that uh, antonym of hypocrisy doubt uh, you know burdensome or fluent or uh, you know uprightness uprightness means justice yes uh, you know uprightness or uh, justice or fair play is basically an antonym for the word hypocrisy next antonym of paucity yes paucity uh, means scarcity or presence or shallow or surplus uh, paucity means something uh, when something is lacking in uh, quantity uh, that that is called uh, paucity and the opposite of paucity is surplus right next question is uh, de novo means what is the meaning of de novo de novo means uh, common arm new prominent or to any extent the correct option is uh, new okay this is the correct option for the word de novo ne next inter alia inter alia means in between by the fact under concentration or at the end the correct option is in between inter alia means uh, in between all right moving to the next question the market is nearer to them than than we than us than ours or than ourselves the correct option is that the market is nearer to them than us okay en route en route means on way direction on the way long distance none of these the correct option is on the way en route means on the way next uh, we have a, an interesting idiom uh, to make amend for what is the meaning of to make amend for make possible effort to compensate for damage uh, to bring chance in something or none of these the correct option is uh, to compensate for damage next question is the practice of uh, taking someone else's work or idea and passing them off as one's own uh, what, what is the word that we use for for it uh, uh, called uh despotism plagiarism or epicure the correct option is plagiarism when you take somebody else's work and you uh, portray it as your own work that is called the plagiarism 
okay it, it, we, we also use an interesting word uh, another interesting word for this and that is intellectual theft okay a person who talks in his or her sleep is known as yes the person who uh, sleeps uh, you know who, who talks in sleep is called bourgeois insomnist or uh, ventri ventriloquist or uh, uh, somniloquist yes somniloquist a person who sleeps uh, you know who, who speaks while uh, you know uh, while he or she is sleeping okay next question is that uh, uh, secretly listening to a conversation is called yes uh, sec secretly listening to you like people are talking and you are secretly listening to them so what do we use the word for that eavesdrop overhearing or uh, pigeonholing or spying yes uh, when people are talking and you're just listening to them secretly that is called eavesdrop all right uh, you know overhearing is when uh, you are there two people are talking to each other and you are there and you are not listening to them secretly that is called overhearing all right okay next uh, a disease that is liable to be transmitted to people through the environment is known as uh, you know contagious infectious fatal or incurable so the diseases that uh, can be transmitted uh, to to people through the environment are known as the infectious diseases okay a disease spreading from one person or organism to another by contact is known as contagious uh, infectious unanimous or fatal so a disease that uh, prevails uh, by contact is uh, called the contagious uh, disease next someone that is hard uh, something that is hard but liable to break easily is known as uh, brittle flexible resilient or supple something which is very hard in texture but very uh, easy uh, you know very liable to break easily uh, is called the brittle all right uh, so you're learning a lot of new words as well a person fluent in two languages is known as bilingual lingual by god bigami or brittle the correct option is bilingual bi means two and lingual means uh, you know lingual word is from language okay the action or practice of uh, uh, you know uh, persuading someone to do something by using force or threats is known as uh, coercion conviction confession or uh, cajolment the correct option is uh, coercion like when you when you force somebody to do something that is called coercion okay a narrow piece of land connecting two large masses of land is known as gulf uh, isthmus uh, peninsula or continent the correct option is isthmus yes a, a small uh, you know piece of land uh, which is uh, you know uh, connecting two large masses of land is known as you know isthmuses are basically passages between two islands or uh, you know uh, two uh, uh, patches of land that are surrounded by sea or something like that now government by a small group of all powerful peop uh, people is known as dictatorship monarchy oligarchy or anarchy the correct option is oligarchy when there are few powerful people and they are holding all the powers in the form of a government that is called oligarchy next uh, the, the question is brain drain what is the meaning of brain drain brain drain, drain means mad person or migration of skilled uh, person to uh, other country or immigration of intellectuals or none the correct option is migration of skilled people to other country when people leave their own country and uh, you know if when intellectual people they leave their own country and they uh, go live in another country that is called brain drain okay a person who helps uh, another commit a crime is known as accomplice amateur called or uh, changeling the correct option is accomplice okay a person who is uh, who is uh, uh, you know who is contributing to the crime who is helping somebody else to commit the crime okay a sad poem okay is usually written to praise and ex express sorrow for someone who is dead is known as allergy ode or uh, 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 you know sestina or epic the correct option is allergy allergy is a poem that is written to mourn or uh, you know to to talk about a person who is dead next question is uh, a long poem narrating achievements of a hero or legendary figure is known as epic allergy ode or sestina the correct option is epic right uh, so now we are into the technical aspects of the English language a form of uh, written language for blind people is known as uh, uh, braille uh, Elysium, Epicure or Arson, the correct option is uh, Braille. Braille is basically a form of written language that is written for the blind people. Okay, uh, a medicine uh, taken or given to uh, counteract a particular poison is uh, known as, you know, a medicine that is used to, uh, uh, you know, to make the uh make the disease or make the poison go away uh, they are called antidotes or antitoxin or adderall 
or a a and b yes we use two words for them antidots and antitoxin so these two uh, medicines are given when somebody uh, you know is uh, uh, has consume, consumed consumed something poisonous so in order to eradicate uh, the you know uh, the presence of that poison we use antidots or antitoxins next question is that one who eats everything indiscriminately is known as uh, albumen adept omnivorous or amphibian the correct option is omnivorous a person who eats you know each and everything okay one who is present everywhere okay is known as omnipotent omniscient omnipresent or none of the above yes omnipresent uh, uh, you know uh, the one uh, or a, a person or uh, an idea uh, that is uh, present everywhere is known as omnipresent like god is omnipresent god is present everywhere uh, next question is that something which is incapable of being seen uh, through is known as non-transparent uh, blurred opaque or all of the above yes uh, non-transparent blurred opaque so so these three words we use uh, in order to uh, describe something which is incapable of being seen uh, through next uh, something which is capable of being seen through is known as opaque coarse ambiguous or transparent the correct option is transparent all right okay uh, one who is unable to pay debts owed uh, owed to uh, owed is known as uh, you know foreclosed insolvent bankrupt or all of the above yes uh, we a person who is unable to pay his debts uh, we call that person foreclosed insolvent bankrupt uh, you know th these three words are used so the correct option for this question is all of the above next we uh, we are again into the synonyms antonyms uh, the antonym of word felicity felicity is uh, uh, you know the, the these three are the uh, you can say that uh, one the powerful or uh, powerful is a synonym and uh, narrow and opaque these two words are kind of uh, irrelevant uh, to, to to the question and sadness is basically antonym of the word felicity uh, fel felicitations you might have heard this word uh, when we are con congratulating uh, congratulating uh, congratulating someone uh, we can use the word felicitations many many felicitations we can say many many congratulations and similarly we can say many many felicitations antonym of uh, uh, credulous antonym of credulous is respectful hard working uh, skeptical or uh, frugal the correct option is skeptical right okay a person uh, who collects or has a great love of books is known as uh, bibliophile uh, pluviophile cosmopolitan or uh, changeling the correct option is bibliophile bibliophile is a person who is having a, uh, a handsome collection of books or who loves to collect books okay forcing someone to uh, make payment uh, for not revealing uh, discreditable secrets is known as uh, blackmail despotism assassin or elysium the correct option is blackmail you know when you are forcing someone to uh, make payment for not revealing discreditable secret like when you have uh, secrets of somebody and that now you are asking uh, that person that if you will not give me money i'm going to uh, disclose your secrets so that is called blackmailing okay the offense of marrying someone while already married to another person is known as bigamy coop by god or uh, by the correct option is by gammy when a person is married and uh, you are you know you are going to marry that person while the other person is actively married that is called by gammy okay uh, a large enclosure uh, for confining birds is known as uh, aviary uh, columbary uh, vulari or all of the above yes we use uh, the word uh, aviary uh, for a for a large enclosure that that we are using to confine birds like we have aviaries uh, you know in zoos okay items of business uh, to be considered at a mat at a meeting uh, is called agenda bulletin elysium or a picture the correct option is agenda we have agendas for different type of business meetings okay science of heavenly bodies is known as uh, uh, he heavenly bodies okay science of heavenly bodies like the, the galaxies the stars what do we call that astronomy anatomy ecology or astrology the correct option is astronomy astronomy is the the, the, the science of heavenly bodies like how galaxies and uh, stars they they are connected uh, connected together okay art of judging uh, influence of stars upon human affairs is known as astrology uh, or uh, uh, planetology metrology or geology yes the art of judging uh, influence of stars upon uh, you know human human being affairs is known as astrology okay the 100th anniversary of a significant event is known as uh, you know uh, uh, cent centenary 
uh, elasium assassin or none of the above the correct option is uh, you know uh, centenary centenary is basically when uh, you know when a hundred years uh, of something very great are completed so we use the word uh, centenary all right next question is that uh, one uh, who is uh, familiar with and at ease in many uh, different countries and cultures is known as cosmopolitan unsophisticated uh, provincial or all of the above the correct option is cosmopolitan a person who is having a lot of knowledge about other cultures and other cities and is very much comfortable uh, you know living in different cultures and different cities so we call that person cosmopolitan next question is that government by old people is termed as monarchy or uh, uh, you know uh, gerontocracy or pedocracy or autocracy the correct option is uh, gerontocracy okay gerontocracy means the government of the old people pedocracy is the government of children monarchy is the uh, you know i'm just telling you uh, you know as an extra token monarchy is uh, uh, you know having a government of one king and autocracy is when there is only one person who is giving orders uh, you know that is called autocracy a book uh, giving information on all branches of knowledge is known as encyclopedia, Sinaic, or uh, Desperado, or Elysium. The correct option is encyclopedia. Yeah, the way we have encyclopedias of uh, language, encyclopedias of science, and you know, something like that. Okay, a group of associated or similar things is known as, uh, uh, you know, constellation, plainness, Elysium, or none of the above. The correct option is constellation. Constellation is basically a group of associated or similar things. When you, uh, you know, combine things together, that makes a constellation. Next, a person who is recovering after an illness or medical treatment is known as, uh, uh, you know, uh, conval uh, uh, convalescent, uh, regressing, uh, uh, faltering, or failing. The correct option is uh, convalescent. Okay. Next question is that a person who abstains from marriage and sexual relations is known as uh, uh, celibate or uh, promises, immoral or vile, the correct option is uh, celibate, a person who is not interested in marrying and, or any kind of sexual relationships. Next, leaving one's country and go to live in a foreign land is known as immigrate, eradicate or uh, you know immigrate with I or uh, extempore, the correct option is immigrate with E, alright. Next, the question is that uh, one who looks on the dark side of things is known as optimist or uh, patricide or pessimist or philanthropist. The correct option is pessimist, a person who is always looking for the dark sides of the things. Next, one who looks on the bright side of things is known as pessimist, novace or optimist or, uh, you know, credulous. The correct option is optimist. Next question is that something that is liable to be easily broken is known as, yes, we already had this question, the correct option is brittle. So there are some questions that may be repeated. Okay, a letter which is not claimed by, uh, you know, anyone, uh, you know, anybody, uh, like there is a letter and we don't, we do not know that who is the author of that letter. So what do we call that type of letters? Dead letter, adjustment letter, complaint letter or acknowledgement letter. So we call those letters dead letters where we have the letter but we do not know who is the writer of the, uh, that letter. A composition which bears no name of the writer is known as anonymous, identified, signed or apostate, the correct option is anonymous. Alright, next question is that uh, uh, is this, uh, is uh, this is the bus, uh, uh, you know, is this the bus dash uh, goes to Sadar Bazaar. So is this uh, that uh, the bus that goes to the Sadar Bazaar? Who goes to the Sadar Bazaar, which goes to the Sadar Bazaar or to arrive goes, you know, there, uh, there is no chance that we can have the word to arrive. So which goes to the Sadar Bazaar? All right. Uh, he bought a three dash suit, a three hundred dollar, a three hundred dollar or three hundred hundred dollar or hundreds dollar. So the correct option is that he bought a three hundred dollar. So we do not need need to add any S with hundred or dollar. So it's simply he bought a three hundred dollar suit. Okay, the idiom to bury the hatchet. What is the meaning of to bury the hatchet? To make peace, to make a foolish choice, to make a wrong decision or to lose something. The correct option is to make peace. All right, to be brother. Okay, antonym of attract. What is the antonym of attract? Uh, repel, demote, expel or none of these. The correct option is uh, repel, attract and its antonym is repel. Okay, antonym of adapt. What is the antonym of adapt? Applaud, unfit, approve or none of these. The correct option is unfit. The antonym of adapt is unfit. Okay, uh, you know, antonym of apathy. What is the antonym of apathy? Sleep, conclude, zeal or none of these. The correct option is zeal. 
all right next question is that uh, uh, you know we have to complete the idiom uh, hell hath no fury like a uh, like a woman scorned like a burned woman like a woman forgotten or like a devil's advocate the correct option is a woman scorned hell hath no fury uh, like a woman scorned all right so so we should not be making the woman angry uh, you know angry uh, a foreign phrase de jure what is the meaning of the word de jure by law uh, successful illegal or compromising the correct option is by law all right so you know uh, just stay with me we, we only 20 mcqs are left synonym of abject what is this, the synonym of abject disgusting uh, squalid or uh, uh, you know uh, contempt uh, contemptible or all of these yes uh, disgusting squalid or contemptible all of these are the basically synonyms of abject all right uh, tie the knot. What is the meaning of tie the knot? Friendship, getting married, enmity or criticism. Yes, they are tying the knot. This means that they are getting married. Yes. So the antonym of archetype. What is the antonym of archetype? Origin or generous or factory or copy. So the antonym of archetype is copy. Archetype means something very real, uh, real and original. So the antonym is copy. Antonym of average. What is the antonym of average? Subdue. Uh, augment encourage or elaborate yes abridge uh, and augment so these two are the antonyms of each other now the antonym of uh, pathological what is the antonym of pathological uh, sick or uh, uh, healthy chemicals or selective so healthy and pathological these two are antonym of each other next the book is dash uh, you know the mug and pen the book, the, the book is in the mug and pen, the book is among uh, the mug and pen or the book, the book is between uh, the mug and pen or off. The correct option is between. The book is between the mug and pen. A good judge never jumps uh, dash the conclusion. Jumps in the conclusion, jumps to the conclusion, jumps on or jumps at. The correct option is that a good, good judge never jumps to the conclusion. The students protested uh, dash the ill treatment of their leader. The students protested over, the, uh, the students protested to, pr protested against or protested for. The correct option is that they protested for the ill treatment of their leader. Okay, a game which no one wins is called tie, draw, loss or toss. The correct option is draw. All right. Next, if the dash the match, uh, I'll go to uh, KPK to meet the sports board uh, chairperson. If dash, if I will win the match, if I win the match, if I wins or I shall win, the correct option is that if I win the match, uh, I'll go to KPK to meet the sports uh, board chairperson. Next question is that the government ruled by a woman is called uh, petticoat government or uh, corporatocracy or patriarchy or none of these. The correct option is petticoat government, a government where all of the leaders are women. Okay, uh, the killing of one's mother uh, is called uh, matricide, patricide, uh, regicide or uh, patricide. The correct option is matricide. Okay, matricide. Got it? All right. So moving to the next question, uh, killing of a large group of people is called, uh, uh, you know, filicide or uh, fratricide, genocide or homicide. The correct option is genocide. You know, when you start killing people just uh, for, the, um, for the reason of their uh, gene, or their genetic group okay a community of people smaller than a village uh, is uh, called uh, you know uh, a, a hamlet uh, apiary apiary or none of these the correct option is hamlet right okay a person who is controlled by wife is called henpeck or uh, you know uh, connoisseur or uh, somnambulist uh, sonambul uh, you know uh, sonambulist or none of these the correct option is henpeck Okay, uh, in, in Urdu we call it uh, the Ran Murid. Okay, synonym of exemplify is uh, reprehensible, illustrate, empty, or finish. The correct option is illustrate. Okay, so the synonym of in French is uh, breach, escape, hard, or bound. The correct option is breach. In French means, uh, you know, breach. So these two are the similar words. Ill gotten. Ill gotten means no required, uh, taken through legal way, or acquired by. Uh, illegal or unfair means the correct option is acquired by illegal or unfair means okay uh, past tense of find is find found founded both b and c the correct option is the past tense of find is 
found it was very easy right okay so, uh, since we are moving to the to the end so uh, you know there is a there is an easy question for you uh, the dash of war is expected very soon the uh, cessation the session the uh, session or uh, session the correct option is cessation it's from uh, you know cease uh, to stop antonym of uh, brusque antonym of brusque is uh, corrupt brash energetic or courteous the correct option is courteous so congratulations guys uh, those who are still watching the video you guys are amazing you have completed 100 mcqs today and similarly i have uh, planned a lot of uh, you know uh, sessions like this and we are going to learn a lot of grammar a lot of vocabulary and a lot of technical uh, you know terms of english language in the same way uh, if you are interested to watch uh, some other uh, videos on grammar do check the description because in description i have uh, given the links of many interesting videos which are going to be very much helpful for you so stay connected with english keys academy take care of yourself see you again bye